Thank you, Chairman Ho. After that very gloomy outlook of the world, I'm here to talk about opportunities that exist for partnerships between Singapore, Asia, and the African continent. And so at the very beginning, let me convey my sincere and grateful thanks to the government and the people of the Republic of Singapore for their welcome since our arrival here in Singapore, and especially for the invitation to participate in this Singapore summit. I believe this kind of gesture signifies the strong, cordial relations between Kenya and Singapore, and indeed Singapore's interest to deepen her relations with the African continent. I'm also pleased to note that Kenya is also at the forefront of this engagement with Africa, and we commit to making this a rewarding engagement not only for our two countries and their private sectors, but also for our greater common markets within the ASEAN and the African continental free trade area. This summit once again showcases Singapore's strategic positioning in the global economy. The summit's goal <clears throat> of connecting Asia to Africa allows the world to partner <coughs> with Asia, a key growth engine of the global economy across a variety of areas, including education, finance, healthcare, innovation, manufacturing, technology, tourism, trade, and transport. Mr. Chairman, Kenya shares a similar history and aspirations with some of the Asian countries represented here today. They provide instructive lessons to our nation and continent on how they turned around relatively poor nations into fast-growing ones with shared prosperity. We, too, seek to emulate these lessons as part of the transformation that we have embarked on that we dub Agenda 4. In this context, and as one of the key components of this Agenda 4, my administration has committed to building at least 500,000 new affordable homes by 2022. And in this regard, we seek to learn from the success of Singapore's affordable housing program. The African Union approved recently a transformative agreement, notably the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. The agreement came into force on the 30th of May, 2019, and entered into its operational phase on the 7th of July, 2019. This will increase trade and investment opportunities exponentially. The African continental free trade area presents business and investments opportunities across a ready market with a total population of over 1.2 billion people and a market value of over US dollars 29 trillion. I today invite you to use Kenya as a gateway to the African continent. This is not only one of the top 10 fastest growing economies on the African continent, but it is also one of the most pro-business nations in that continent. Our country has improved dramatically in the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index, jumping 107 places from our 2012 position to our present position of number 61 globally and third on the African continent. Kenya is also the leading country in Sub-Saharan Africa in terms of ICT and technology penetration, fintech and financial inclusion. With our mobile cellular subscription currently standing at 95% of our population of more than 45 million, Kenya has learned to leverage on our strength in ICT and mobile cellular subscription to become the global leader in mobile money and mobile banking. Our world famous M-Pesa mobile money platform has promoted financial inclusion in our country and provided a template 
for reaching conventionally unbanked populations across the region. Our potential for e-commerce and exciting new frontiers within this new economy have barely been scratched, and I invite willing business partners and investors to come in with us in these areas to access the vibrant Kenyan market as well as the wider continental market. This visit builds on a very successful Afro-Asian fintech festival that was held earlier this year, co-hosted by Kenya and Singapore in Nairobi. This festival brought together participants from Africa and Asia to forge partnerships and nurture thriving fintech ecosystems. In addition, the Monetary Authority of Singapore and the Central Bank of Kenya signed a fintech cooperation agreement to support digital infrastructure development in Kenya. These and other measures open the door for Singapore and other Asian countries to bridge the financing gap for Kenya's critical capital and infrastructure projects through their financial markets as well as private investors. It's my belief that fintech can play an important role in expanding economic opportunity in Africa and Asia, which together are home to 85% of the world's peoples and also home to some of the fastest growing economies in the world. In 2018, more than one third of all venture capital fintech funding in the world was directed to Asia. And Asia was home to six of the world's 29 fintech unicorns, namely venture capital backed private companies with valuations greater than US dollars 1 billion. We seek to strengthen partnerships that tap into this market. As is known, Asia is Kenya's second largest export destination, accounting for roughly 30% of our exports. Our balance of trade is in favor of Asia with 66% of our imports originating from the region. And therefore, to bridge that roughly 36% of trade deficit, Kenya is also seeking to grow our exports into Asia through diversification of our product range, processing of natural produce before exports, and attracting Asian companies to special economic zones in Kenya that cater for products and demand in Asia, and broadening our reach into new Asian markets. Indeed, as Kenya seeks to attract business and investors from Asia and across the globe, we continue to make significant investments in both hard infrastructure such as roads, power, generation, ports, railways, communication networks, as well as our soft infrastructure such as strong governance institutions, fair and vibrant regulatory frameworks that are responsive to the need of modern business, a fair and independent judiciary, and commercial disputes, arbitration systems, and an open inclusive society that respects and defends fundamental freedoms and rights. Allow me to single out our host country for her exemplary use of her geostrategic location at the confluence of various international trade routes to maximize Singapore's gains from international trade. Indeed, myself and the rest of my delegation have been impressed by the impeccable management of the Port of Singapore and the exemplary way this strategic national asset has been utilized to boost economic growth. We anticipate a lot of opportunities in our main oceanic ports of Lamu and Mombasa, in port management, ship repairs, broad logistics, in each of these ports. And I today also wish to invite those looking for lucrative opportunities in shipping and maritime affairs to engage with us. We are also aware of the potential of the sustainable blue economy to positively transform the lives of ordinary citizens, while at the same time providing attractive rewards for investors. Kenya is looking towards Singapore and the ASEAN countries for partners who will tap the oceans, lakes, and rivers of Kenya and unleash their vast potential. We have already put in place the necessary legal and operational framework, and we are ready to welcome potential investors in our sustainable blue economy. 
Mr. Chairman, as I conclude, as we seek economic and social partnerships with ASEAN countries, I will propose the following building blocks for this partnership. Building, first, building and expansion of transport, communication, energy, housing, and ICT infrastructure. And secondly, the facilitate, to facilitate mergers on collaborative arrangements between Asian companies and African companies and promote linkages between micro, small, and medium, small size enterprises on both sides of the Indian Ocean to promote trade and investment between Kenya and Asia, across the full spectrum of the economy and across the entire length of the value chain, and lastly, to collaborate in cultural exchanges, capacity building, information sharing, as foundations for forging a new path of productivity and commerce. Indeed, today, I invite all of you to take advantage of the many trade and investment opportunities that Kenya and Africa offers within a framework of a stable and democratic nations, and also between Kenya and Singapore that offers a regional hub and gateway to Eastern also and the Central African region, and indeed to the entire African continent. Finally, let me say that I am convinced that our collaboration can and will transform our economies and create greater shared prosperity for all our nations as we look forward to forging new partnerships. I thank you all for your attention. Thank you very much.